What's up YouTube, this is Wilson and I'm back with another video tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to create a new partition in your external hard drive. For this video, I'll be doing that using a third application called EasyUS. It's one of the applications that I often use when I want to create a new partitions. EasyUS is a paid software, but you can download a free trial and play with it. The things I'm going to be showing to you, you can do it in free trial. Once you open the application, this is the main view, and here you will see all the drives connected to your computer. Up here in disk 1, which is my computer hard drive, I see all the partition I have created. And in disk 2, I see my external hard drive. Since I want to create a new partition in my external hard drive, I'll be focused on disk 2. Once you select the drive, you will notice that on the left, the upper box called operations changes, giving you more options to work with. With the disk selected, in the operations box, click on resize and a small window will appear. Here is where you are going to insert the amount of storage for the new partition. And this is going to be based on the free space in your drive. And to do that, you just have to move around this little ball left and right that you will find at the end of this blue bar. The other option you have is by clicking this small up and down arrows or just insert the number if you know it and you want to be more precise. Well, for me, since I want a 10 gigabytes in this new partition, I will write 10240, which is the corresponding amount in megabytes. Once you ensure that this is the amount of space you want, click OK. And then you will get back to the main window. In the disk 2, where your external drive is, notice that there is a new space unallocated. Right click on that and select create partition. A new window will pop up. Give a name to your partition and click OK. With the partition you have just named selected, go to the main toolbar and click on apply. A box will appear and you just click OK. This process can take quite some time depending on the size of the new partition you are creating. I'm going to pause and get back when it finished. It is finished now and we have successfully created a new partition. I'm going to open my computer and check for this new partition. So that's all for this tutorial guys, leave a comment and if you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!